Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming E6 TV. Today I would like to talk about Sea of Thieves character creator system called IPG, which stands for Infinite Pirate Generator. The Sea of Thieves community has always been wondering, how do you create pirates in this game? Or rather, what kind of characters do you start out with? And how does the character creator even work to begin with? And what does this game actually have for character creation systems? Well, today we're here to discuss the Infinite Pirate Generator that Rare has created for Sea of Thieves. So let's deep dive into it. So what we're looking at here is the Sea of Thieves version of Character Creator System. Basically what it does is it generates 8 random pirates for you to choose from. And if you do not like what the system has generated for you, then you can press the right trigger on your Xbox One controller and it will generate 8 more random pirates once again. You may do this as many times as you want, but some people might be asking why would I? Well, the infinite pirate generator is literally infinite because the pirates always come out with a random sex, race, skin color, body type, hairstyle, weapons, clothes, accessories, and age as well. Want to play as a grumpy old grandpa pirate with a peg leg or a hook forehand? You may keep pressing the right trigger until you get your old grandpa pirate that you want. Or would you rather play as a fat female pirate who's holding a grog in her hand and does absolutely nothing but drink all day during her journeys? The choice is yours, but the question is, when will you get such a character? In all honesty, this is actually a very interesting system and to be quite frank, I like it a lot. Because it keeps the style of the characters that Rare is known for creating. If the game had full customization options, then a lot of the tunes will look like they do not belong here. And I'm the type of person who likes consistency in his games and immersion that does not break. Majority of the character designs in my opinion are quite awesome and are really random. I probably spent a good 10 or so minutes pressing right trigger just to see how much variety will I get before the characters start to repeat themselves. And let me tell you, the selection was quite diverse and to be quite honest, pressing RT repeatedly just to see what other AA piracy will get was actually kind of addicting and fun and that's maybe because I've never ever seen a character creator this unique before. I absolutely loved it, at first it was a tad weird and then it grew on me. I think for a lot of people who prefer the personal customization route, will appreciate what Rare has done here as far as the design choices go. As you guys and gals can see here on the screen, we see many different types of different characters. It seems that there are about 3 or so body types ranging from slim, average and fat, and of course the age seems to be ranging from young, middle and old. I also like how some of the pirates hold different accessories in their hands such as grogs, cutlasses, cannonballs, or even musical instruments. I think Rare has done a great job here with variety overall. Remember, Sea of Thieves' main progression system is based off earning gold and reputation with the trading companies, and the shopkeepers sell a ton of different cool outfits and armor sets, so if you combine this with IPG and all the stuff you can get in the main game, I think we're all in for a great treat as far as character customization goes. And that will be it for Rare's Infinite Pirate Generator in Sea of Thieves. Overall, I think it's a fantastic and unique system that has never been done before and I'm glad that Rare has taken this route. Maybe this is something that will become popular or rather flexible for future games at other studios. It's always nice to see something new and refreshing than what we're always used to. Let us know what kind of characters will you be playing in Sea of Thieves and what do you think of the Infinite Pirate Generator as a whole in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we will be running a giveaway for a digital copy of Sea of Thieves on March 1st, lasting through March 20th. This digital copy is playable on both Xbox One and PC because Sea of Thieves is a play anywhere title that's also a cross platform play, so you and your friends will never miss out on the fun. We have much more Sea of Thieves coverage coming, along with gameplay guides and pro tips and tricks to become a pirate legend. See you guys soon. Gaming in 6TV will be leaving you right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hit the notification bell to stay up to date and know when a new video is ready for your viewing pleasure. Also, check out our official website at gaminginsix.com for latest daily news, featured articles, reviews, and more. Peace out, everybody.